So before we start, there is a new reading over on the Moisky Reads channel. It is the Call of Cthulhu, the final one I'm doing of H.P. Lovecraft. I'm not doing Mountain of Madness. Seriously. That would take me forever. Also, new video over on the Moisky Live channel covering the People's Internet, or British Broadband, or whatever you want to call it, where the Labour Party have proposed seizing the means of production courtesy of the internet and borrowing more money because that's economically sound. Link to both down below. So today I want to talk about Hoda Muthana. Hoda Muthana is a bit like Shamima Begum with a bit of an age gap. Hoda Muthana is an American, kind of, who left the United States, left Alabama no less, after embracing extremist ideology to then go over to Syria to work with ISIS. She married two ISIS fighters, had a son who is now aged two, with one of those very fighters. During her time there, she was most well known and renowned for the appeals for jihadis in the United States to attack fellow Americans. Hoda Muthana left a year before Shamima Begum left the United Kingdom and served ISIS very well. She performed all the tasks set before her. Granted, the results were hardly, uh, fantastic, but she did her job. Well, she's been trying to, after admitting this was nothing but a phase that she regrets, because that, that's, that's totally, totally a good enough excuse. She has decided she wants to come home. To do so, she has also listed some demands, one of which is to receive two US passports. One for herself, because she gave hers up when she arrived in Syria, and the other for her son. Of the two, I'd accept one. She is not one of them. Now let's skip ahead a little to current events, where a federal judge has ruled that Hoda Muthana, who was born in Hackensack, New Jersey, then leaving, obviously, to go and do her uh, civic duty for ISIS, has no right to return to the United States. And this is quite interesting, because there's a little detail often overlooked in a number of the articles that cover this event. And this is where it gets a bit murky, because I don't truly understand it. So perhaps, to my lovely American audience, you can help me here. While born in the US, she was born to a Yemeni diplomat, which has been deemed and dubbed by the judge to have negated her claim at being a US citizen. Judge Reggie Walton said there is sufficient evidence that Hoda Muthana was born while her father was a representative and therefore had diplomatic status in the US. Under a long-standing federal regulation, children of diplomats are not eligible for citizenship when they are born in America because they are not subject to US jurisdiction as specified in the 14th Amendment to the Constitution, which kind of confuses me a little, but I do understand it, and I think it makes for an interesting case of, oops, somebody took the privilege bestowed upon them and effectively shat on it. Hoda Muthana currently resides in a refugee camp which is under Kurdish control, and has been petitioning the US to issue passports since. I would point out, because of her work with ISIS, which can be verified and proven, she's going to be there for a while because she committed some crimes under Syrian law. Your son should be returned to the US. I agree. You, no. But then again, some will undoubtedly, and I know who you are, will say no, the son shouldn't too. I take pity on the son because I have some humanity, because it's not his fault what his mother's done, and he deserves what she gave up. A chance. And I'll be honest with you, Anyone who takes the privilege they have been given to grow up in the country they have, like America, like the United Kingdom, to take that and decide, no, 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 my dear, dear prophet says I should go and do this because of how I have perceived or been led to perceive the religious texts, is a moron. I'm not saying put your country above your God. I'm really not. I'm saying you need to weigh up your options and possibly assess whether or not it's truly worth it when you cannot win. You could not win that particular type of fight in Syria. You were never going to win. You had a city. Now you have rubble. That caliphate looks oddly familiar to me. And I've said it before, so I'll say it again. 
it looks like the remains of a car park after Black Friday. Hoda Muthana did give an interview to NBC News where she regrets all the things done by ISIS. She did confess to embracing the extremist ideology while living with her family in Alabama. She also said that anyone that believes in God believes that everyone deserves a second chance, no matter how harmful their sins were. To those that do believe in a God, you actually have a point. But thankfully, the criminal justice system exists so that there is a separation. Fact must trump it. Fact. You embraced ISIS, left your country, and decided, hmm, I'm going to tell people back home, the home that was given to me freely, to start attacking Americans for not being believers. As far as I'm concerned, you have taken the good graces of everyone else and you have pushed it to a limit that is not acceptable. You've also not shown any real remorse for your actions. And I should point out, as this is somewhat important, you don't get to decide when to use your God and the beliefs of all those that believe in a God against them in an attempt to guilt them. That doesn't work in a courtroom. I've seen some of the statements by your lawyer who is trying desperately to get you back. I hope they continue to fail. You are, under Syrian law, a criminal, and therefore you will serve whatever time or punishment they deem fit, as is only right for what you did in the name of your God in a country where you were a part of a group, a terrorist group, that sought to tear that country apart and bully people into believing what you believe because you believed you knew best. You were known and have seen to be, and I'm going to give examples here, to have celebrated the attack on the offices of the magazine Charlie Hebdo, where 12 people were killed. And according to the Counter-Extremism Project, you are known to have taken part in actively publishing ISIS propaganda, which was the very propaganda used to urge jihadists in America to go on, and I'll quote you, drive-bys and spill all of their blood. In the camp she resides in in northeast Syria, the camp is called al Roj. she currently fears for her life because she believes she could be targeted by the people at the camp who have yet to renounce ISIS. Well, you did make your bed. Hmm. And while you do claim to have not supported things like beheadings or any of the crimes and suicide attacks, you are still a part of it. And I do feel sorry for your son, Adam. I really do. I feel sorry for him because he has to grow up in this because of what you did. Donald Trump tweeted out about this, that he instructed Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, Pompeo? Mike, to not allow Hoda Muthana back into the country. Based on the laws of this country, of America that is, you have no place within it. One of the big arguments going forward from this ruling is that she has the paperwork to prove that she's an American citizen, but the Constitution would say otherwise. However, she has resided in the country for a certain amount of time. Whether she applied for citizenship, though, is a different matter, and apparently she didn't because it didn't get through the first hearing. It'll be interesting to see if she can appeal this. I hope she's unsuccessful, to be honest. I do think pity should be taken on Adam, but as far as I'm concerned, she now has to try and do what's right by him. To do so, she first of all has to show she actually means it. Might I recommend starting by working with those that have proven you've been involved, by confessing to all of that. Oh, and then giving names and details that they need to put away those who actually committed the crimes that you claim you had nothing to do with. I'd also recommend apologising to the United States. Whether they'll forgive you or not isn't my problem. I'm just offering solutions here for you to show remorse. You took the country that you claimed to be a part of, and you openly declared war on it, and you lost. How this goes forward, I am very interested. I sorely doubt this will become some kind of omnibus, but I am keen to see how you get on with this now. Hopefully, maybe you'll get sent back to Yemen. Who knows? With this, I'm very interested to know what you all think. Whether you think the US is right to not allow her back, whether you think the Constitution reaches a bit too far or not. I don't think so. I don't fully understand it, but of course I don't. I'm English. We lucked out with Shamima Begum. We simply took away her citizenship. But you didn't have to. 
yet Hoda Muthana has existed in your country for quite some time. So please let me know in the comments down below what you think. So I hope you all have a fantastic Monday, and thank you all for listening.